everybody, it's Monkey, and I'm back with another Barbie Fashionista review. Um, this is number 74, and if you watched the previous Fashionista video, I just opened number 73. I actually have 73, 74, 75, and 76 completely unintentional, and I noticed as I was gathering up these dollies for a video, so I decided why not do them in order and post them in order, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, knock on wood, where's wood? Okay, so this is number 74. As I mentioned in the previous video, um, they don't have names anymore, which is really, really sad because I liked it when they had names. So this was just number 74, Fashionista. Looking at her in the box, I think she's an original Barbie. I think, I don't think she's petite or tall, but I can't tell. So once we get her open, we will, um, We'll see exactly what kind of dog, blah, 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 Barbie she is. On the back, I didn't really show it in the last video. I realized later. But here's all the fashionistas. Kind of the last couple waves, I believe. And, um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, all four of the ones I'm doing today are on here. So, um, actually no boys. I didn't buy any boys this year. What? I didn't like any. Well, I kind of like that guy with the cactus shirt. And he's in between two of my gales that we're going to be opening. Um, I got her at Walmart around Christmas time. Um, sorry guys about the delay. Um, things have been really chaotic here. And I don't really like talking about personal stuff because who cares? We're here for dolls, right? But I am sort of in the process of changing jobs. So it's been really stressful at work. And I think that kind of stress has been um, oozing over to Cookie too. And... Um, he hasn't really been feeling like doing videos either, neither have I, um, but I feel like it now and because I love you guys and it seems like the Barbies are really popular for this channel, I just wanted to do Barbies for right now, just for you guys. My gift to you. So this is number 74, got her at Walmart. Have I seen her anywhere else? I don't know. I haven't been to Toys R Us in a while um, and Target, Target's been a real, I mean I love Target but when it comes to the fashionistas, Target's been sort of slacking it. So I have no idea if she's at Target. I can't remember if I've seen her. But I would say your best bet, if you really want her, is Walmart. Um, why did I get her? Why did I... Oh, I loved her hair um, in the box. And her face mold seemed really different to me. I don't think I've seen this face mold before. Um, but we'll see on the back of her head how old this face mold is. But I, I don't think I've seen her. The dress, um, I like the cut and color. You don't really see too much black in Barbie clothes, um, but I don't like the stars too much. But um, let's, why are we critiquing the doll in the box? Let's get her open. So I'll be right back and we will see what's going on. All right guys, I'm back. She's out of the box. Immediate, my immediate first thought, and I'm sure you guys can tell just by looking at the camera right now, her hair is rock solid. Um, there is so much product in her hair. Um, it's really disappointing because I love the, the volume the hair has. I love the color. I guess I don't do anything with the color, but I love the volume that her hair has. I love the style of it. Um, I love that it's kind of curly and it has a little bit of a wave in there and it's, it's so much product. It's kind of bothering me right now. Um, especially there's like chunks of it that are really hard. You can even you can probably see it right there, solid chunks. Um, really sad about that. I mean, look how cute these little tendrils are. I mean, I guess that's the only way they can really do it. Um, but I, there's other fashionistas behind me, literally, that have curly hair that's not rock hard like this. So I don't know what happened here with this dolly, but she's so pretty and her hair is just, <sighs> I should just wash it. I should just go for it guys and start playing with doll hair. Cause Oh, it's so scary. Um, her face is that really pretty mold. I don't know what this mold is called, but on the back here, it does say uh, 2014 on it. So it is a newer-ish mold. Um, her head's very loosey-goosey. I don't know what's up with that. It's almost like she's been re, um, re-headed. I don't know the word for that, but um, you guys know. If you're watching this video, you watch other doll videos and, and you know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's very, very loose, so I don't, I don't like that. Um, I love um, 
her makeup. It's really cool. It has like a little bit of dark eyeshadow right there. I really like it. It goes with the dress, kind of a darker um, look to it. And she doesn't have very bright lipstick, which I think works very well for this. Um, she is kind of tanned. Um, I love that skin tone. I think the other fashion, I think, wait, 73 I just opened also has, I think she's a little darker though than this one, but they're both really pretty. I love this medium skin tone going on. Um, and there's no earrings, no necklace. I kind of, I feel like she needs earrings. Like even like just studs. That's all I think I need. Yes, that's all she needs. Um, her dress, um, <sighs> let's see. Um, I really like the cut, like I said, of this dress earlier. I feel like especially the top, what we're looking at right now, um, is really different and cute. Um, I like using like this ribbon here, like as something for the middle here without having to put a necklace on her. I do like that. I like using that. I feel like that's creative. It actually is sewn into the dress. It's part of the dress. I like that. I do. I like that. I like the top here. I love this. The silhouette here is really pretty. But what I don't like, I don't like these puffy sleeves. I think I would have liked them better if this side was a little more done. And especially because they're puffing up so badly. Um, it just looks really unfinished here. And I mean, it's a doll dress. I understand that. But it could have just been like a tank dress. It didn't have to have like this puffiness here because... Like, this side doesn't look so bad. I think her hair was holding this side down in the box. So it doesn't look... I mean, when she look, it looks better when you're looking at her straight on up. But, ah, sorry, Barbie. Um, but this side, it's, like, completely sticking straight up. And it looks so unfinished on the inside. I don't like that. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of this dress in the box anyway. So um, that's probably why I'm nitpicking it now, because I wasn't in love with it immediately. Um, print is these stars, um, black and white stars, different shapes, um, and it's like a skater dress it looks like to me, sort of that silhouette. Um, yeah, I would have, I definitely, let's go, let's go here and show you guys like this, I'll hold it. Um, I definitely would have liked this more in a different print. I just don't like the stars print. I feel like this girl, her, she doesn't seem like she would wear stars like that. Um, as any fashionista, she's only articulated in the shoulder and her head. She's extra articulated in the head and she's very loose there. Um, she has this little silver bracelet, which I actually like a lot. But I don't feel like it goes with this dress either, but it goes with her. Does that make sense? Like her as a person, if she was a person. I feel like she would wear that bracelet. It's really pretty. But I don't feel like she'd wear this dress and it's bothering me. Um, I don't think I have any fashionista clothes at all. That'll do for her. I feel like for her, because it's bothering me so much, um, I need to find her clothes. So, when we go to Walmart, I'm definitely digging. <gasps> Wait, I have Barbie clothes somewhere. Wait, guys, pause, 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 pause. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's see if Cookie ends this out or if he keeps it in. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you guys. I almost totally forgot. <laughs> I am terrible. Ah! Oh my gosh, who did I step on? Oh, just the box. Okay. This is what I have? That's it? Ugh. I, I need to go to Walmart, guys. Future Cookie, who's editing this, we need to go to Walmart. Okay, Barbie, let's just scoot you over. I have a skirt. <laughs> and I have this Hello Kitty Barbie top. Now, I don't think she'll like this either. <laughs> and I definitely don't think these go together. But... This is for YouTube. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. So let's get her clothes off. Okay, let's see. Because it is bothering me so much. Oh, and she has these little pink shoes. Now, what? My doll stands rolling, literally. Now, what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I feel like the style she would wear. I like this style. I think it's very cute. It even has like little studs on it and stuff. It's really cute. But how does this light pink shoe go with a black and white dress? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? I just... I don't think it goes, Barbie. I don't think it goes. I know. I know. I don't either. Let's get her undressed and let's see... Let's see what, what, what this looks like. Cause I'm thinking... Do I have one of See, I'm literally looking behind me like there's some magical Barbie clothes looking at me. I don't even know 
where my Barbie clothes are. <laughs> All right, her dress is off. Oh man, I gotta open these first. Okay, so this skirt is like, it was folded in the box, which I liked it because it was short and it's not. Mm. I'm not showing Barbie naked on the camera because that's rude, but I'm trimming off these little plastic thingies. I have no idea. Ah! I didn't want to show her naked and she's naked. Um, I have no idea how much of this clicky is going to show, but I think some of it sounded pretty amusing, so he might. Um, well, I have to say the skirt on her so far looks okay, Ugh. but I do not think she's going to appreciate this Hello Kitty top because it does not seem like it's her style, you know what I'm saying? Not her style. I need to find her something better. Hmm. Let me think, let me think, let me think. What was... I can't remember. Ooh, ooh, I think the dress that Blue Beauty was wearing initially, I think that might look very cute on her. The question now is what do I do with it? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. I mean, the two silhouettes go together very, very well. You guys will see. And I do like the skirt on her, but together, it's a mess. Here we go. All right, here she is. I do like this better on her any overall than, than this. Absolutely, I will say. Let me put her on a stand so she's more sticky for you guys. I do like this better, even though it's a mess. And this is not an outfit I would keep a poor Barbie in. But I do like this better on her. She does need some kind of necklace. And she does not have pierced ears, so I can't even do that if I wanted. <laughs> do the trash. Alright. So here she is. I like this better. I think we'll keep her like this until I can figure something else out. And maybe we'll do their video with you guys with a better ensemble. Because um, I just I just not like this black dress on her. Now, this black dress on someone else might look good. But I just don't like it on her. Um, so we're not going to keep her in that. We'll keep her in this. So I think this even looks better with the pink shoes. Because there's pink in the top. Ah, ah, ah. It's almost like I planned it this way. But I did not. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Please comment and thumbs up if you like these videos. This video was a complete mess. So if you don't like this video, I totally understand. Um, I had fun filming it though. So um, thank you for watching. And please, please, please subscribe and comment. I love, love when you guys comment. I answer all of them. I swear, all of them. So thank you for watching. Bye.